Hello, beautiful ones. This is Miss Arkeetha, Soul to Soul Connection, and this is Aries. Hello, my beautiful Aries. We are doing a reading for this upcoming week going into March, okay? And this is a general reading. This reading may not resonate with everyone, but if it does, run with it because it is for you. <laughs> Aries, it's been a while, but here we go, okay? Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share, and hit that notification button and bell so you will know when I have a new video uploaded. Please and thank y'all. And if you're returning, welcome back. Yes. All right, Aries. What is happening with you? Again, this is going, um, this is for this week, going into March. And we're just going to see what's, you know, coming up for you. What's happening for our beautiful, beautiful Aries. Spirit, what do you have for Aries? Let me know how many cards. Let's get it. Aries, 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 Aries. Ooh, Aries. Is there any more cards for Aries? Aries. Any more cards for Aries? All right. Okay. All right. Let's turn these cards over for my Aries and see what is happening for Aries. Okay. And the first card that came out was the Envy card, right? Here we go, Aries. Envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges, right? So um, that's going into saying for me, what I'm seeing here for Aries is that, you know, you're looking at everybody else and you're like, hey, everybody else seems like they got it together. And I don't like what is happening here. I don't understand. Like, I'm trying. I'm trying. Yes, you are. Change is a coming, okay? Next card out was change, which goes along with that death card here, right? So change is opening, closing doors. Change is what is happening. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement, okay? So with the Envy card, you got to just look at your growth. Just concentrate on your growth and what you need to do is to grow through all of you to grow through yeah that's it to grow through all of this right i want to expand my consciousness and my awareness right um the judgment that you're ha <coughs> excuse me mm, still finding a little cold going on here sorry but aries um judgment happiness what we're looking at here is um we have to release some things um, because the movement is not moving like it should, Aries. Um, it's a lot of blockages going on here, indecision, because you're living in a, a, it's a past, um, past. I know it's not the past cards, it's forgiveness. But you're having a hard time forgiving um, certain situations here, which the judgment card came out. It is blocking your happiness, basically. It's blocking your happiness, Aries. That's what's happening. That is what's happening. Because um, you're not having patience with what needs to change here. With Like, it is, um, like, the doors that are closing, you want more than the doors that are opening up for you. Which is leading to the indecision that's coming in. Because it's causing indecision is what it's causing. And... Um, that you're making rash decisions, judgment, you're making rash decisions, um, a spare the moment decisions, uh, um, Aries, that's what it is. These spare the moment decisions are taking you off your path. Mm, 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 mm. Let me write that down. These spare the moment decisions are uh, are taking you off your path. Yep, because um, sp spirit is trying to. Okay, at, this is what they're saying. As as we're trying to lead you 
to the right direction, you are, it's a blocking, you're blocking it, you're blocking, it's blockages, it's like indecision, rash decisions, rash, rash, rash decisions, um, that even makes sense, right, um, and it's blocking your happiness, okay, you have to have the courage to move forward, it's like you're spinning your wheels, is what you're doing, you're not, the progress isn't progression, you know what I'm saying? Because you're spinning your wheels about something that just is not going to happen. Aries, you're spinning your wheels about something. You're pushing your white knuckling. So a, a, a project, a, a, a relation. Because this is a general reading. So this, whoever's catching this, this is, this is, I'm getting stuff. All, it's like you're white knuckling a relationships in your life that you want to maintain and you want to stay there, but these relationships are ruining you. Yeah. You have to have the courage to move forward. That's the problem. The change is... The, the change is there for you, Aries, but you're not seeing it because you're spinning your wheels. You're spinning your wheels on something... Um, you just keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. It's not making you happy. You're not happy about it. But that's just what it is. You just have to have, because you do have abundance. Abundance is the overall thing. Um, you get the service card as well. You feel good when you're helping others, but you have to help the right people. You're not helping the right people. You get what I'm saying? You have, it's got to be the right situations. Um, I feel good when I can help others. Of course you do, but don't help others. And when, when these people, Aries, Aries, when these people, I see them stabbing you in your back, just stabby, stabby, stabbing, stabbing you in your back, just, and you're taking it because you want these people to be in your life. And I get that, but sometimes you have to release and get your own space. You have to have your own space into, in order to see the path ahead of you. It's blurry. It's clear. It's like blurred out. It's like smog. But abundance is there for you. If you're ready, you got to surrender to the process. And you that's another thing. You're trying to make things happen that don't want to happen. You're trying to make, you're trying to uh, go for things that you're not ready for right now. Is what I'm getting. I, I, I look. I hope this is making sense. I swear I hope this makes sense because this is very serious. Because going into um, the new year, going into spring, we want to not carry carry the same baggage that we've been carrying all along. Because we are meant to do great things. We are meant to do great things, but we can't do those great things if we're preventing our growth. If we're blocking our growth, okay, you know, if we're blocking our growth, the new beginnings can't come. The new beginnings can't come if we're blocking our growth. And that's Aries. That's what I'm getting. That is what I'm getting. You're seriously blocking your growth because you're spinning your wheels about something that just is not to be. Okay, does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Okay, now let's see what... Oh, those, okay, those must be wanting to come together. We'll keep those together. Spirit, what messages do you, okay. Yes, 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 Spirit. What is going on with Aries? Okay, Aries. 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 Is there any more cards for Aries? Anything else for our Aries? All right, we'll leave it there. These two are going to go together. These two want to go together. Okay, and this is that one there. Okay, the first... Let me put that there. The first two cards out for me were these two right here. Beautiful cards, Aries. We have... The first one out actually was Great Teacher. Learn from spiritual experiences. Great Teacher, because you are, again... 
a teacher in this. You are a teacher in this. It's just what it is. You are a teacher in this. You know, you like service. Um, you like helping others. You like teaching others. And so you have to understand that in order to do that, you can't stay in the muck. You can't stay in the mud. You get what I'm saying? You just can't do that in order to track your fears. You have to track your fears down with um, and desires. Just track it down the hunter card. Okay? You know, it's it's which is what I've been saying all along. You have to be open to healing information, which is hello. <laughs> but other than myself, people come to you in your life all the time, and our situations come in. You're like, why did that? Why did that happen? Because it's trying to teach you a lesson. It's trying to show you the right way to go. So medicine garden, please be open to healing um, information to those things that you're like, oh, why did that? Why did I see the angel? Of, oh, why is this song playing right now? Um, why am I finding feathers everywhere? Why is all this? Because this is the universe trying to give you your same signal. Your angels, your guardian angels are trying to help you. Here we okay. So you have to shed these old skins, which is what I've been talking about the whole time. Okay. Shed the old skins. This is the snake card. Shed old skin. You can't keep doing the same thing thinking that you're going to get, and maybe you don't think it. Maybe you just want to keep doing the same things. Well, that's fine if you do, but it's not going to bring in the peace that you seek. It's not going to bring in the happiness or the abundance that you seek, okay? So you have to see, you have to see your card, see beyond the current situation. You have the peace a keeper card, let go of the need to be right, Aries, okay? So you're so intent on um, this job. I'm going to do it. I don't care how stressed out it makes me. Um, I'm going to do this career because I've been fighting for this career, but it's not for you. You get what I'm saying? And it's like you you have to see beyond in the present moment now. Be in the present moment now. Because the present moment is going to tell you what the future is. The present, Wherever you at in the present moment, if you don't fix the present moment, Aries, it's no way your future is going to look any different. Got it? Okay. So, see beyond the current situation. You got to see beyond the current situation. See the, so you are in the situation. So you already know what's going on, right? You already know what battles you are facing, right? So, peacekeeper, let go of the need to be right. When you're wrong, you're wrong, man. When you're wrong, you're wrong. And just look. That doesn't mean that you failed in anything. You just, look, take charge with authority and be devoted and committed to the change. To the change. Like, if it could, look, just because the change is not what you want it to be, right? Just because the change is not what you want it to be does not mean that is not for you. It's pushing you into the direction of your purpose. So that, and these two cards came out together. So what, what it's trying to do is trans, is, try, is transform and, and unveiling your gifts to you, right? Shapeshifter card. Oh, that's beautiful. And magic guardian card, unlike, unlock your magic within. That's where your power, rely, uh, it lies within your soul. You got the shapeshifter, meaning you can be anything you want to be. You don't have to do what everybody else tells you is the right thing to do, Aries. You just don't. Go with you, Aries. I like, go with your flow, beautiful. Stop listening, Aries. Stop listening to people who don't have their stuff together. Bottom cards is trust in your talent. Trust in your talents in these changing times. Changing times. Change. Trust in your talents in these changing change. Change the trust in your talents in these changing change. Trust in, look, trust in yourself. You have to have trust. Not, you know, more than within others, you have to have trust within yourself. It just is what it is. You have to have trust within yourself. Um, again, 
The change is for your benefit, but you don't see it that way. So you're running in the muck. You're stuck in like, oh, quicksand is a better example of that one. It's like you feel like you're Aries. You feel like you're in quicksand because you're putting, you're leaving yourself there and you're not fighting your way out. Okay. And this is, this is what they're telling me. You want things to be so fast. You're judging every situation, but not putting enough emphasis on those situations. You're just steam, what you call it, steamrolling ahead, steamrolling ahead. And you're like, and again, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. But if you're steamrolling in the wrong direction and the universe is trying to guide you in the direction and you're ignoring them, problems arise. I'm just saying. So now, <laughs> I'm sorry, I, had, I just got to tell it the way it comes. I'm sorry. Sometimes I'm a little forceful. But that is the way it comes for me, Aries. You're like, I'm giving it to you the way it comes. Okay. All right. And so I have my angel cards, my angel answer cards. So we can do this two way, two, three, four way, you go hurry. Okay. So basically what you're going to do is think of questions in your head or you can say them out loud or whatever you want to do this. And the cards are going to pop and then I'm going to explain. But basically, more than likely, it's just going to go along with everything else we've said. <laughs> But what questions do you have? What questions do you have, beautiful? What questions do you have? Okay. Let's get it. This is for, oh, already? Okay. Oh, yeah, you know what? Uh, yeah. Aries. Air, oh. Boom. We'll take those two together. Aries. Is there any anything else you want to let Aries know right now? Anything else you want to let Aries? That's too many cards. Thank you. Is there anything else you want Aries to know? Okay, there we go. All right, all right. Okay, yep, yep, there we go. These two came out together. These two came out together. Okay, 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 okay. So, right, if you're having health problems, your health will be improving. You're working on it, and I know it takes time, and I know that, you know, when you're not feeling 100, that adds into everything, too, but your health is improving, if that was a question. You would need to um, <clears throat> ask upon your angels more. You're not doing that. You need to rely upon your angels more. The angels, but they're not going to just keep inserting themselves in your life if you do not give them permission, and that's all spirit. That's any spirit. Just know that, good or bad. Just know that. So talk to your angels. Talk to your angels, your spirit guides. And a lot of times, your, your guardian angels and your spirit guides are your ancestors. They have just decided, you know what? I want to take that job. And I want to be, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to be their angel. Can I be their guardian angel, you know, since I'm here, like, like help them out a little bit, you know? Can I do that before I move on to my next task, you know? And that happens. So whatever the uh, question is, get more information. You need to gather more information. You need to gather more information. That's what they keep saying. You need to gather more information. Gather more information, okay? Um, these two came. It's not the right time and to wait. So if you were made, like, and it says something financial, this is something about something financial. If you're about to make a big purchase, this is what this is about. Um, it's saying if you're about to make a big, it's not saying that, this is what they're saying to me here. Um, wait is not the right time for whatever big purchase Aries you're thinking about. But we need you to be assertive and take action on everything else that we've been speaking on. We need to be assertive and take action so we can get out of that mug, so we can move forward in peace, okay? So just letting go and surrendering to the, just letting go to the need of being right and surrendering to the process, right? That is going to, because you're shedding old skin and it's very uncomfortable, very uncomfortable. So that's what's going on with you right now, Aries. And I will be back, of course, to, um, you know, to, uh, into March. Into March, we'll get some March, beautiful March energy. And I will be back in March. But I hope you love this reading. And if you did, please hit like, please share, subscribe. It really does help my channel. 
um, and hit the notification bell, of course. Also, um, thank you. If you made it this part, thank you. Thank you. I'm so grateful. I don't, you know, I'm very grateful that you're here and welcome back if you're back and returning. I love you and you know what I'm going to leave you with, beautiful one. All the peace, love, and tranquility that your heart can hold until next time. Namaste. Mm, beautiful.